Mr. Kronexia was once regarded as one of the biggest anime channels on the platform. He was the number one guy to look for anime recommendations and even made his own personal anime. He used to be in this anime YouTuber group formed of the four biggest anitubers, with people like Joey the anime man, who later went on to grow his YouTube channel up to 3 million subscribers and build one of the most successful podcasts on YouTube. Akidirist, who currently possesses 2.9 million subscribers, and Lost Paws who went on to stream and currently possesses both a successful streaming career and has a successful YouTube channel. This leaves only one person out and one question remaining. Why Misty? How come Misty Cronexia was not destined to go on this path of further increasing his YouTube range and further fame? Well, there are several factors. All began when Misty mentioned his anime-inspired novel that he was writing at the time in one of his videos. This caught the attention of an animation studio called Studio Izune. The studio seemed legit enough at first even showing him a previously animated project and a portfolio of sorts. He knew, as an anime fan and a novelist, that his biggest dream was to get his own anime. So that was his one and only chance to fulfill his dream. But sometimes things are just too good to be true. A few days later, he officially pitched the idea to his fans, asking for financial support on Patreon to back his project, since he himself didn't have the funds to keep the project afloat on his own. I have an idea for a project and I would like your guys' help to help us fund it because if you're aware of animation and studios like that, it costs a lot of money to make something. What he didn't know, however, was that this was the grave mistake that led to his eventual downfall. After having collected the money, he sent it to the studio to start working on this project. Unbeknownst to him, however, at the time, the head director, who was the only person on the team that Misty had contact with, was the one that in the end ended up scamming him. He took a large majority of the cut and underpaid the rest of the team, whilst also making Misty out as the bad guy to the team by telling the team that he was the one that sent too little money. Consequently, the staff asked for a larger compensation, so the head director asked Misty for more money, otherwise the staff threatened to leave. By this point, Misty was in trouble. It was too shameful to ask his audience for more money, so he had to pay out of his pocket. Now Misty was in a position where he both had his own money and the money of his audience on the line. After all this mess, and with underpaid and overworked animators, you could imagine how the final project would look like. Here's a snippet of an important fight scene in one of the first episodes. Darling. Hmm. No, not really. Hmm. No! Michelle! <laughs> now remember how I told you to ask his patron was his greatest mistake? Well, let me elaborate. You see, if you crowdfund a project and people invest money into you, you gotta deliver. Especially if it's your own audience that keeps your channel afloat. It comes with a certain level of responsibility. Now whether Misty fucked up or someone else doesn't really matter to the general public. What matters is that from the audience's perspective, they gave Misty a certain amount of money to complete a badass anime. And all they got was 60 minutes of badly animated 14 frames a second anime fight scenes with his anime profile picture which was later transformed into a character in the anime all over the project. Naturally this hurt the channel's reputations a lot and his audience started slowly walking away from his channel. After that Misty tried to recover his audience and views by putting out more content and trying to move on. However Whilst he was trying to get up, two other factors repressed his channel from ever climbing up the YouTube ladder again. First we got YouTube's very questionable decision to smack every one of his well-performing top 10 list videos he was so well known for with a copyright claim. Afterwards, seeing how many copyright claims and reports his channel had, they decided to shadow ban his YouTube channel. But even if people found his YouTube channel through any other means, there was one more reason that hindered his performance nonetheless. You see, one of the key things that separate long-lasting content creators from short-time content creators is the ability to hit that like button and subscribe, boys. Now, of course, I'm just kidding. There's another reason, but you know, I'm a sneaky guy. I just wanted to put it in there. And you know, it's, it's not that bad of an idea, so maybe consider it. However, back to the topic. The real thing that separates long-lasting content creators from short-time content creators 
characters is the ability to adapt. And sadly, this was the crucial thing that Misty lacked. After Misty noticed that he got shadow banned, he started a second channel. Problem was, his content and lists didn't really change since 2016. Thumbnails, style of editing and presentation went really out of date. And whilst now he has moved forward and has removed himself from the platform somehow, considering YouTube only as a hobby, no real interest to grow, you can say the same of Misty back in 2017 and 2020, the three years where he so desperately wanted to build back up his channel but couldn't. And at the end of the day, I feel really sorry for Misty. If you watched this video on his second channel, he went through a lot. He stated that he was really down mentally and had to take therapy because in this time of decline, watching his career that he has built up for 8 long years die before his eyes just shattered his heart. And whilst he is in a better place now, having gotten a job and two daughters he is very proud of, not everyone can recover from this and for that I commend him. The story serves as a lesson on how cutthroat a place YouTube really is. One day you are a successful thriving YouTube channel with a beloved fan base, and the next day you get tossed away and forgotten on the corner of the street for the tiniest mistake. This was my little video on Missy Cronexia's story. Thanks for watching and have a good one.